change. In some ways it feels overwhelming to break a world record, but it's chasing a dream. Once you chase a dream and you accomplish it, it's so rewarding to officially say that you have a Guinness World Record. That's saying something when there's however many billion people in the world as well as, can you imagine how many unicycles have been made? But right now, right here is the world's smallest unicycle. That's saying something. My parents come from an entertainment family. So I was grew up in the entertainment scene. Neither one of my mom and dad had rode unicycles, but they encouraged me, if that's what I like to do, to uh, you know keep on going. So when I was about 12 years old, I bought me a standard 20-inch unicycle, which is what you would start off with. And then I saved my money from whatever I could do to buy me a six-foot-tall unicycle. And then I'd learned to basically put a unicycle act together. And after I did that, my parents supported it. And, we designed and put together, uh, my mom made me up a costume and we put music together to form yourself an act. And meantime, I kept practicing. I learned how to ride the unicycle with one foot. Then I'd ride the unicycle, walk the wheel, and then just put all these different tricks that nobody else was kind of doing at the time, you know? So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been fun to put the whole act together. The development and the design of the world's smallest unicycle was with a good personal friend of mine, Greg Wyrick. We came up with the concept of first making a small unicycle out of a skateboard wheel. And so once we accomplished that, and I was able to ride that really solid, and I do it in every one of my shows. And uh, so basically the, the little bitty skateboard wheel unicycle was the brainchild of getting into the world's smallest unicycle. He's built numerous other unicycles for me and that, that's how this dream kind of got going and just to, to see him be able to take basically raw metal and build a unicycle that somebody can set on and ride it just you know just blows me away you know it's just a, it, i call it a work of art that's what i call it it's literally a piece of work of art when you see it it's like wow i mean not only is it beautiful to see ridden but it's beautiful just to look at the uh, world's smallest unicycle is pretty much all built out of aluminum. The height is just a smidge over 11 inches, so basically 11 inches tall. The wheel size is 12.67 millimeter, which in U.S. terms, it's about a half an inch wheel. This has been a, a, a tough combination between being so little in size and so little of a wheel, as well as you've got to ride it. You know, so the, the challenge is, is when we when we came up with the design, we decided that we were going to go as small as we felt that that I could go with the smallest wheel that we could make mechanically would work. And so what you see being uh, being ridden right now is, um, I, I hate to say never, never, but uh, she's she's at right now the smallest we could go. To ride the world's smallest unicycle, you really kind of got to be in shape. You need to be in good physical condition because, boy, you're using every muscle in your body because you're having to balance every aspect. And so then when you're in the process of getting going and you're starting to get into the groove and to the zone to start, and as you're starting to ride it, you know, your arms are swinging around. So you are really got to be physically and mentally focused to ride this because it's, it's not like your average unicycle to get on and just you take off ride it like you would do any basic unicycle or bicycle. There's a couple other unicycle records that uh, that we're, I say we, meaning my other two sons, I've got two sons, Hunter and Carson, that we're, we've kind of got our sights on. Right now we're just still on this big high because we just uh, got all the documentations from Guinness and they're the ones who are worldwide uh, known as, uh, you know, if you can say that you got a Guinness world record, that's the you know the plateau of record holders. So uh, right now I would say yes, we got our sights on it, but we're we're living the dream right now with the record that we just accomplished, which was has been a big feat. So um, I can just say, keep your ears out for the next record. It's a whirlwind to own the world's smallest unicycle. Sometimes I gotta pinch myself because you know I've always rode unicycles again since I was 12 years old, and so to uh, now officially say that I got the world's smallest unicycle, that's, that's saying something when you come from me that has all these unicycles, you know, I was like, man, I just love to have that. And 
now the dream has come to reality. You know, it's really, really cool.